back on their feet. NBC 16's Christelle Kumway has our story. To some, this may look like an old school bus, but to others, like Julie Aikens of Ashland, it's a glimpse of hope. What we do is take school buses and we convert them into 240 square foot homes for homeless children and families. Aikens is a freelance journalist who toured homeless camps. In watching that, I began to transition from being a person covering a story to a person in a story and wanting to help. Aikens launched a nonprofit, Vehicles for Changes, about a year and a half ago. The first family moved into the first converted school bus in Ashland last November. We take them right down to the bolts, we insulate them, we wrap them in um, beautiful uh, wood and finishes. They have full kitchens, full bathrooms, bedrooms, the whole bit. The next stop for vehicles for changes is right here in Eugene. They partnered up with local artist and builder Alex Daniel to rebuild this bus for a local family. As you come towards the back, there's, these are the two little bedrooms for the kids. So if we can um, make this uh, a really positive experience for everyone involved and s serve as an example, then other people could do the same thing wherever they are. The community is encouraged to lend a helping hand. Go talk to Alex, you know, figure out how you can volunteer. If you've got 10 bucks laying around, please throw that his way. If you've got 1000 bucks, that'd be even better. The school buses are donated. Converting them into tiny homes can take up to five months. This issue of income inequality is systemic. But you know what? Solutions can be found locally. Spreading a little hope with every stop along the way. In Eugene, I'm Crystal Kume reporting. Aikens says they also partner with RV Parks to determine the best location for the bus. To volunteer and help convert a bus into a livable space, you can visit our website, NBC16.com. Coming up next, Greg has a look at your full forecast right after the break. Plus, the 